Hello and welcome back to Kingdoms Reborn. It's been a few days since the last time I played, so I just got myself a little bit reoriented with the game as uh, we left it. And uh, I've caught myself up, I think. We're building some houses down here so that we can... Um, so we can, we can add some more population uh, space, housing space, because right now we have uh, a little bit of a dearth of housing. Also, I want to kick the speed up a little. We're also building a forester down here that I now realize is not in not in a good spot anymore. It should be moved over further. So maybe I should just go ahead and do that. Uh, thought that was the delete button. Maybe I can't delete while it's in the middle of being built. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, wrong button. Let's build a forester then over here. On the other side of this uh, stone patch and we'll let them come over here and build that as soon as we can i do also want to look for uh, let's see hide the trees and bushes yeah we didn't put any storage in here so i want to put some storage in here as well and i think we'll just do that right in this area too uh maybe over this way a bit let's see the houses are one two three four five six i think two four six so let's start here and we'll do at least a little bit of storage and hopefully we can prioritize that so that they get here and work on that as soon as possible we also have a bunch of other cards that we've picked up along the way from all the texts that we unlocked in the last episode where we entered into the middle age here and started working on some of these ta on some of these uh on these texts so now we're kind of in this area now and uh we have Actually, we have a lot more tech points, science points, than we really need because we haven't set up a tailor or a blacksmith yet. We've only set up logistics one, not logistics two, um, and uh, we have we haven't done any research yet either. And uh, we have a blacksmith to set up, and we are in the middle of setting up an archives right here. So hopefully, yeah, we lost a homeless person. We lost a couple of old people. Uh, hopefully, they'll get these trees cleared, which they're working on right now, and we can get that going. So we have over here the uh, iron mine and the iron smelter, and I'd like to put the blacksmith somewhere in the vicinity of those, but I think maybe here on the main road. Uh, let's see, maybe maybe it, it's, it's size farther from the corner than, uh, than itself. I don't know if that works. That makes sense, but that works. Um, we do have this... Um, this additional card slot for the town hall, but we can't use it yet because uh, we have the three slots already filled and we can't get another one until we upgrade to the Enlightenment Age. We also uh, gained another town hall card slot from Master Pottery. Potters gain 20% efficiency. Compared that to, let's see, fishing is really good. How's the pottery? get plus four science points you know maybe we can actually pull that one out and swap this one in okay so we can't because i don't have room oh wait there we go uh because we don't really need the plus four science right now because we're not even doing any science research at this point uh because we honestly haven't used as you can see we haven't used the things that we already have uh there's they've just built one of those houses it looks like no, they must have built a house somewhere else. We also had some other ones in process here. Somewhere, maybe up here. Or they got bigger. I think we just gained one. Um, and we were adding houses up here too, so that's quite likely. Uh, let's see, what else can we uh, work on here? We can do a brickworks. Uh, produces brick from clay and coal. The problem is, is the clay all needs to be gotten from along this river uh, somewhere. And I'm not sure how this river managed to get itself... Oh, I guess it's not broken. It's two different rivers originating here in the same general area. Maybe we can uh, expand this road this way and put in some more uh, clay uh, clay pits. We have we do have one here we can take. I also want to take another uh, tavern and another library to put down around these houses. And do we have both around these houses or just the one? We have both here. Okay. Again, it's been a few days, so I'm remembering that I need to check things as I'm playing along a little. So forgive me for that. Let's put this here. It's not going to give us enough room for another one next to it, though. 
Uh, the other option would be to come out far enough so as to have enough room for another. And I think that's the distance. So we could zigzag this road out just another spot. Um, the other option is how far away can these be from the river? Oh, quite a ways. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll zigzag this out just another spot so we can add one more in here. Right there. And then that'll give us enough room for another one next to it, and then a few more across the uh, across the street there. I think that'll work out fine. Let's put a dirt road in here, and we'll just connect it up like that. If I had known that was the difference, I would have just moved these out one more spot, but at least for now, there's not a, it's not worth it. Uh, so then we can also place the brickworks, and I think I'll put that here uh, on this corner. And that'll give us some more uh, jobs for people to do, which means more people coming in. And then we also still need to place this tailor. Uh, makes clothes from leather or wool. We should have a large amount of wool and a decent amount of leather as well. Uh, so we could make the clothes. And um, if nothing else, we can sell them, but I'm assuming we can also use them for, for good or evil. Uh, that's a house. We don't want it right there. Maybe up here would be... No, it's too big for that. Let's just put it down here next to the blacksmith. Uh, how much room, though... How much room does does this take? There's another field take. Another ranch. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'll give it that one extra... Sp oh, maybe I won't. That might be perfect. Disturbingly perfect. Because I may want another pig or sheep ranch uh, at some point in the near future. Especially because we just ran out of food. Again. <laughs> Alright, let's look for a ranch card. Uh, pass. You know what? Actually, we can just do with the wild cards. We have enough of them. We'll just do the wild cards. Uh, I think I'll do a pig ranch. Got to be spring again. Yeah, so this fits perfectly. I couldn't have planned that any better if I had tried. Uh, right there, we're out of stone. But that's fine, because we have two quarries working away at that. Uh, we just ran out. And then we do have a stone tool workshop here. That is capped off, so it's yeah, it just, it just lost its worker. Okay. Uh, the storage is still getting built. Uh, I, did, I did assign someone to work there, though. And I did prioritize it, so they should get it built soon. Yes, I know food reserve is low. Thank you, game. Uh, and then some people will come up here and do this work as well. Now, we do have a lot of extra laborers. So I'm going to increase the builders here temporarily to 10. That'll take away from the laborer count here. But that just means that we'll get more jobs done. Uh, all the trees that need clearing, all the buildings that need built, that'll be fine. And uh, we'll also be able to continue working on that. Not enough input of wheat for beer. I'm wondering if we should stop the beer making for right now. Uh, we do have three luxuries. Uh, this this house is level four, which means it's got it needs three luxuries. So we we are making four actually with the furniture. The clothing must be the next tier here. It is. Okay, that's good. So I think would be okay if we paused the beer production for right now. And um, how do we pause? Oh, I know how to pause. Duh. Click the star twice to get the stop point. And then that keeps them from using the wheat as it's harvested here for beer. In the meantime, we'll of course want to start planning out some more farming. That's not a farm, Wally. That would be over here. Which, this is all horrible farmland because it's too cold. We do have a little bit of space here, so maybe I can put in a little wheat farm here. Or two, actually. Uh, six by five, and then a... In a area of 16. Well, we can't put it there then. Okay, well, then it is what it is. Actually, you know what? No. Cancel that. Let's put in a new farm. And let's extend it out. Well, let's see. That's 24, 28. Actually, the 30 might be the best option. Although, if I did this one at 27, then I could do... Can I do that at 27? Yeah, I can do that at 27. And then I could do this one at... Can I get 16? I can get 16 out of this. Um, yeah, so we could do a 16 and a 27. And make them both wheat fields. 
By default they are, so that's fine. We have a lot of iron bars, so once this uh, once this gets built, this blacksmith gets built, we'll be able to do quite a lot with it. And we also have the um, the archives, and I don't think we can put oh we can put these cards in here. So that gives us an extra six coins per year. I'm assuming twelve percent of the card price per year. Um, so so that works out well. And if we could figure out uh, how to spend this one, let's see. So, assuming that they have money, which they do, but they only have 142 coin. How about you? How much money do you have? It's funny that you can see how much money they have. 334, that's a bit better. And then the final uh, competitor here, oh, I went right past them, is here. And they have negative. All right, well, let's come over here then. And since they have 361, we'll zoom in and we'll actually place this snatch card and collect five coins for every employee or every person they have up to their maximum amount there. So that was just a, a nice, cheap, uh, almost free uh, amount of coin, which was really nice to have. I'm way over here. And we have a bunch of hungry people. Hopefully we'll get this harvest going. And uh, people are dying from starvation, but people think I'm okay. On the other hand, we do have food. It's just um, they're a little delayed in getting it uh, for various reasons. But we did at least get through all that, uh, all those, get all those cards spent. Sorry to clear my throat. We did at least get all those cards spent and got in here uh, to do more to do more work. So this is going to now produce steel tools. And as far as I know, we get people leaving and dying of starvation. Hmm. Uh, we are getting more people than we're losing though, so that's a thing. Uh, as far as I know, um, there's no difference in the way the tools work. It didn't seem to be that way. This requires wood and iron, and this one required stone and wood. Yeah, so there doesn't seem to be a reason why we would need both tool workshops. So as long as we have iron coming in, which I don't see how we wouldn't, we shouldn't need stone tools. And so I think I want to shut this down. I'm going to leave it here, at least for now, but I think I want it shut down. Yeah, we're having a lot of people leaving now due to starvation. Hopefully, we can get this food straightened out. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna have um, we're gonna have a real big problem on our hands. So let's uh, let's look into maybe setting up some more fisheries. We're getting a lot of fish and oranges, uh, but where would I where could I set another fishery up at? Uh, we can also do another fruit gatherer or mushroom farms. Mushroom farms. We talked about those, I think, in the last episode, that they're kind of the best thing to put on the desert because they don't seem to care about fertility. Um, and although the appeal here isn't great, you know what? I'm not sure if they do care about fertility or not. They don't seem to. They don't trigger. When we put down a mushroom farm... People are dying left and right. Someone's going to have to consider eating. No, we're not going to allow cannibalism. Thank you, game. Uh, let's buy a mushroom farm. They don't seem to trigger the fertility, which kind of makes sense because they use logs for their uh, harvest. So I think we should put them out here in the desert area where it's not fertile land at all. And then from there, we can figure out what else we might want to do. So I'm just going to start here with them. We also might want a granary. We just get one here. Do we have granaries? I think we do. Do I not know my alphabet? I don't. Uh, so I'll add one in after I add at least one more mushroom farm here. Uh, actually, we should see what's up with the next card deck. Buy that. Oh, we can buy immigrants and kidnap immigrants now. Uh, but we don't really need those because we already have starving people. 
So we have, we can buy the card for 120 or we can buy it here for 120. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. I might as well buy it here as we have it and then proceed from there. I want to look around also to see if there's any upgrades we can do to any of the farming type buildings besides the granary or any of the food type buildings to, yeah, we could upgrade at a worker slot here. We have enough coin that I'm fine with that. Uh, we need to, we need bricks for this. We haven't started brick making yet. No, they're still working on it. Uh, juicier bait would give us productivity. I'm fine with that too. And we need steel tools and then we can also boost the productivity. So once steel tools get started here, uh, that'll be really good. And they have access to iron bars. They're just taking a while to haul them, I guess. I hope. But I should do the same upgrades here on this one. Actually, I should hold down shift click so that I can do them all. And then we do have some steel tools. Um, but not enough for all of them. Oh, we did put one there. I could also potentially put one here along this coastline. Can we just get a... Uh, fish or do I want more fish yeah I think it couldn't hurt uh, if I can get it to position along here although given the curvature of the land here we're not going to get very good efficiency yeah the best thing it is in the 70s uh, even down here well, we can get into the 80s as we get out here so that might be worth it once we get that far what about way up here uh, just off of this 80% isn't Horrid. It isn't great, though. 84. No, that doesn't work. 78. We have this one up here, so we could come up here also. 104%. That might be worth it. Let's see. Yeah, let's do 104%. And then we can try and get a road there appropriately. Shoot that way. We still have people dying of starvation, even though we now have some food. But yeah, we're still not producing enough food. Uh, steel tools. Yeah, we're using the steel tools faster, too fast for our production. I wonder if I can prohibit them from using steel tools. Uh, let's see. Resources? Probably not. Oh, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, we're not... Yeah, we're not there yet. I think I should just do the upgrades that I can. Even though it's only one at a time. And that way we can have it. And that one won't be ready until it's ready. Okay, we are still building and upgrading houses. That's good. And we do have this working now. I want to do this upgrade. Um... I think we'll keep this one here for a while at least, so we could do these productivity boosters. I wonder if those just stack, although we don't really need that much productivity on wood at this point. It might change, but we don't at this point. We're still losing people, but we're kind of maintaining our um, population, which is kind of funny uh, with the immigrations. Uh, actually, our, our population has gone up since the episode started. I did turn the sound down. There was music and stuff that seemed louder, but now it doesn't seem as loud. So I'm going to turn the sound back up again a little. Um, that keep... Okay, good. Yeah, it seemed louder for some reason earlier, but now it seems more stable. I don't know what changed or why it changed. Before I started, it was louder. All right, so we have clay. I should put some stockpile storage in here as well. Uh, at least a little bit. No, maybe not right there. Maybe I'll do it on the other side of the road. In this area. Can't go that far out. Unless I did it that way. But we'll just do four blocks right there. And then I can prioritize this so it gets done soon. All right, so I think we can... Now that we have 4,300 tech points... I think we can unlock another tech. We built our tailor, we built our blacksmith, and you can just unlock the paper maker. 
and see what... Yeah, we only spent a few of our points. And we'll buy that Papermaker card. Um, I think we can go ahead and set that up as... Uh, Doc must face water. Okay, okay, so this needs to be on the water. And I put it... No. Oh, it must be inside our territory. And I buy this territory. Of course I can. Let's claim this province with the, uh, the influence points rather than money. Just because, as far as I know, that's the only thing we can use influence points for. So why not? Right, is this really off by one? <laughs> it is. Okay. That's fine. We'll just have a double road here for a little bit. Unless I want this somewhere else, but I don't think that I do. I think this is a good spot for it. And then that, uh, that uses wood, iron, and brick. So the brick is being made way down here, but the wood, there should be wood. Well, there's not. There should be iron nearby, but there's not wood nearby either. Uh, although we could potentially put in a bridge and have another uh, forester out here harvesting wood. I think I'm going to kick the speed up to three. Just because it doesn't seem to be uh, processing well. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my voice today. It was fine earlier, but it's probably allergies. So I think we should work down here into uh, probably not baking because of uh, our wheat issues we still need to deal with. Uh, but we could do vodka. That brews potatoes into vodka. Um, beeswax and honey. I think we should do that one first. And yeah, that spent a few of our tech points, but not much. And we'll buy the beekeepers. Um, I wonder if there's a boost on these for being adjacent to anything. I'm thinking either one of these guys or the uh, logger. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll put it out here. Because uh, efficiency is increased with more surrounding trees. Ah, Borkhild gifted us 100 coin. Food reserve is low again. It'll take us a little bit of time to get that up to snuff. Let's do... We don't have any tools. Let's do this one then. It's not done yet. Okay, you're killing me. Ah, first level 5 house. I wonder... Oh, here it is. Because that is the first one that used brick. And... Uh, or had access to... No, sorry, not brick. Close. Um, that has now made this house look kind of like maybe a... I don't know, like a Victorian era house or something. Something out of like a Dickens novel or something. Um, at least that's what it kind of makes me think of here. Okay, so we placed that. I don't know what we're going to get out of that once it's done, but hopefully we'll get something out of it. And I'm just keeping an eye on the workers here to make sure we have sufficient laborers to be able to have that many assigned to building. Not enough input for... Oh, because I don't want leather clothes. I want wool clothes. Sorry. Sorry, game. Wool clothes, please. And can we boost... Not that one. We need paper for this that gives us productivity for each level 4 plus house in the city. And weaving machine gives us 55% productivity. I think now's the time to do that. Given that we have 477 iron, um, I think that's worth it. And then as we get this paper going, then we'll have the ability to have more. And they've got all the things delivered here, so now it's just a matter of getting it built, which they're working on. That's great. And there are six people working there? Holy cow. Well, there are seven people working here, so I guess I shouldn't be um, astonished. It's kind of interesting that the buildings, once they have too many workers for the size of the building, that they do this uh, seven of seven as opposed to, um, I just took one worker out, that's why, uh, instead of having it just be the little people symbols. Okay, now we have cold people. Why do we have cold people? They should have plenty of, they don't have any coal. Ooh, that's a problem. Um, I didn't realize we were out of coal. Let's put in another coal mine or three uh, over here. Coal, actually, let's check and see if we have one here in the cards first. I want to take this, though. And did we set up a market? The unlocked market, did we set one up? I thought we did. I'm pretty sure we did. I don't remember where. Oh, here it is. That's where. 
Uh, let's take this library card. Don't need that. Probably don't need a... Although we potentially could use another fishing lodge. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. Um... No, I'm gonna wait on that one. And while the game is paused, let's uh, let's use our wild card to get. Oh, I just forgot. Oh, coal mines. Coal mine. Okay, and here is a coal mine. We have no wood. Interesting. Maybe I do want to boost that productivity on the wood. That's kind of a convenient uh, alignment there. Works out well. Let's put a couple of them here. And another coal mine there. And then I think we'll probably put in some more storage here as well. Just a just a four by four though. Oh, that's why we have no coal. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, houses, no, they, they're already, oh, they can't use wood. Um, we don't have any wood anyway to use. So we had a forester out here. He's going to get moved again because, well, we've encroached upon his land a bit. Uh, this one, though, is able to do its job. Got any trees, prioritize planting fruit trees, which would be good for the bees. Uh, but I think we might want another forester. Is that all the foresters we have? Is there a way to tell if we have more? Wonder how... Oh, can I just click this? Yeah, just the two. So we might want to add another forester, and I think we could put it down here, as mentioned earlier. Can we get a forester? No. Just take the wild card. Forester. Um, but I want to put a road in and a bridge in first. So the bridges we haven't built, I don't think, in this at all, because we don't really need to... Oh, we did. We built one right... No, we went around the river. Uh, the bridges work just like the roads. You just have to find a spot to place it, and it has to connect two pieces of land. Um, it'll only actually place the bridge on the tiles where it needs the bridge, and then it's uh, your responsibility, or my responsibility, to place the rest of the roads. So uh, we're going to do that here like this. And then we want the aforementioned uh, Forester. And it can go... Actually, you can just go right on this road. Maybe I'll put it up a little. They can pick off a little bit. No, well... Put it up there. That's fine. And I want to set a priority on this. So they, they do it earlier rather than later. Because it's going to need wood of its own, so... Uh, we need a lot more wood production because also the blacksmith requires wood. And someone else... Oh, there's just these buildings are complaining about wood. Now that it's uh, summer again, though, we don't have to worry so much about the coal. But, but we are consuming more per year than we're producing, so we do need these two mines. Let me take a look at this and upgrade those tools again. Or upgrade that with tools again. And then this one here, we can do these upgrades as well. And yeah, it's only the one. We could also, though, do the uh, do the brick upgrade, but I think I'm going to wait on that to see if we need it. Especially given that we only have 125 bricks at this point. Maybe we should not make the paper. Or we could do that upgrade. 50% less wood. I think we should do that one. Because uh, we're already chewing through the wood. We could chew through less of it. And we're starting to gain... some variety here. Uh, we, of, of different items in our inventory. I'm keeping an eye on it, though, because we may want to sell some stuff. But for right now, we're doing well, I think. And we're doing well on the uh, on the coin front as well. Ooh, we got another uh, level 5 house here. Needs three types, luxury level 2. Yeah, so we need to start looking at wine, candles, 
vodka, magic mushrooms, coffee, and glassware at some point. Oh, these consume wood too. Forgot about that. We did do... I think we did. Did we do... Is it here? Or was it in the tech tree? Mushroom log sterilization decreased the mushroom farm's wood consumption. Okay, so we did that one a long time ago. But we could spend some of our tech points on possibly some upgrades. Uh, we don't really need the charcoal burner improvement. Uh, because we're not currently converting wood into charcoal. And with the abundance of coal we have... Even though we don't have an abundance right now, uh, the only abundance of, abundance of coal we have available to us, I'd rather not burn wood. Uh, we did unlock that homebrew card and then didn't use it, or don't aren't using it anymore. The beer tax uh, gives us more more coin when we have beer in the houses. Although we did stop brewing, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Production to quarries we don't really need. Chimney restrictor. Wood or coal give 15% more heat. That wouldn't be a bad deal. Forestry technologies give us plus 5% wood cutting yield per level. And there's 10 levels there. Uh, this we can unlock to up to 10 frugality books. And then 10 productivity books. And then 10 sustainability books. And down here we have homeland defense. Premises gain 10% bonus for each building on it. I think we should just do that. Uh, unlock province conquering or an archer barracks. Well, there's the first time that I've seen... Oh, consume wood. Okay, so it's not actually combat. It consumes wood to increase influence points, and we're not going to build one of those at this point. That might not be a bad idea. Plus 3% farm productivity per level. Uh, that Yeah, that might not be a bad idea at all to do a few of these levels. And then we can also do farm water management, which gives us farm productivity. Plus 8% for... It's increasing each time. So this one's worth it right now. And then... Or is it increasing each time? Really not, but we've also spent all of our points. Heating technologies, wooden coal, give 5% more heat per level. Did we just look at one of those? Guess not. Trading company. Automatically trade resources with world, with world market with low trade fees. Interesting. Okay, well, I think we spent enough tech points on, well, tech, or on upgrades, rather. So we can probably take it easy on that. Although maybe I could spend one of these, or should I spend one of these? I think I'll spend one of these. Ah, 150 people now call your city home. Yeah, we had that previous uh, task there. Uh, let's see, I think we'll do a sustainability book. Because it's 40% less input. And then I'm going to pause that. And we got a farm management card, farm water management card from the upgrades tree. Got some money from relationship. Oh, these are cards. Maybe that wasn't the best idea then. I didn't realize those were cards. Let's see. Maybe I could take out this card and put one of those in instead. Because we don't really need that much more income. And then we can archive. For now, at least, these two. Okay, next up, uh, the sustainability book should go to something that's consuming. So maybe like the uh, blacksmith or the tailor would be good. Probably the tailor. And wood is still a problem. We still haven't built the things. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure that out, but I think we should probably end this episode here. Uh, our food is, of course, again, rapidly dwindling, so we do need to spend some more time working on food acquisition. Uh, but we could also pick up some of these trees in this area that we might not 
otherwise need and um, use that wood for good. We do have a lot of uh, workers who aren't really doing anything right now, so I think they'll go and work on that. But we'll figure that out in the next episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.